Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the second episode of the spring cleaning series and I'm going to tackle this disgusting oven as you can see. I think someone tried to clean it before and then just couldn't reach back there to get the rest of it cleaned out but we're going to take care of all of that today. Um, the oven is one of my least favorite things to do and you can obviously see why. What I'm going to be using is some ammonia baking soda and some good degreasing dish detergent. I'm using Mrs. Myers today. So what I'm gonna do is add one cup of the baking soda, about two tablespoons of the dish soap, but you can kind of eyeball it, and then a splash of the ammonia. Then you're gonna mix all that up until it gets to a really nice paste, and it's going to be not really um, thick. It's gonna have a little bit of a runny consistency, but you'll see here in just a second how it kind of ends up looking. And depending on how dirty your oven is, you might need to make two batches. Um, I did, so don't be embarrassed if you have to. So after you get all that together, you are going to actually take a sponge and just put a thin layer all over your oven. Obviously, if you can get up any of the big bits and pieces beforehand, totally do that. Um, I have also done this using um, the oven like turning it on and leaving it overnight to the lowest degree possible but this time I didn't and it still worked out just fine so get as much as that all over your oven as you can and then you're gonna just leave that overnight so after I got all of this coated I went ahead and started to clean my fan grill that's up top and what I used was this oxyclean powder that I got from Dollar General and I used a couple scoops of that in a sink full of hot water. And then I took that little uh, grill cover thing down. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. I don't know the technical term for it, but it was disgusting obviously as well. And then I just threw that in there. And honestly, you guys, it just took a couple minutes of soaking in there and that stuff just ate every bit of that grease off. It was pretty satisfying and amazing. So I let that soak for just a little bit and then once that was finished, I just used an old um, Grove Collaborative little scrubber thing that I kept and just kind of, you know, washed off the rest of the grease that was on there and it came out looking brand new and I didn't have to buy another one. So that was super exciting. Okay, so now it is the next day and I'm going to get started on this oven. Everything has been uh, sitting in there and soaking. So what I'm going to do now is just take a wet um, sponge on the scrubber side and just get to work. Now I actually ended up taking a spray bottle with some hot water and just a little bit of that ammonia and spraying it on top. So it can kind of start to get to working again because it did end up, you know, just drying on there and it would be easier for me to scrub. And once I started scrubbing, it all just started coming off. I was extremely um, amazed and delighted to see that. And there were some spots that I had to put a little bit of elbow grease in, but you saw how dirty this thing was, so it was much needed. Take away the pain, we can go insane. Trust me, I won't let you down. After I finished scrubbing everything, I just grabbed a roll full of paper towels and started to wipe up all the excess that I could get. That makes it much easier in the end um, because I did end up spraying it down again and reactivating all that stuff and then I scrubbed the diddle out of it. It made more suds, but that's okay because it just 
let me know that I was getting everything clean. So after I got everything wiped out with paper towels, I took a clean wet sponge and kind of just got up that film that was on there. And after all of that was wiped down, then I just wiped it out again with another um, handful of paper towels. And then actually I took some window cleaner and just kind of sprayed that down to make it all shiny. And it turned out so beautiful. I could be the one who saves you from this place. Baby, they ain't never gonna find me, find me, find me. We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane I can feel that it burns inside me We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane Trust me, I won't let you down Alright guys, so as you can see, after all of that cleaning, the oven came out looking fantastic. I'm super pleased with it, but now I just have to keep on my toes and keep it this way, which is the hardest part, but it did come out looking great. So after that, I ended up cleaning underneath the hood and taking off the light cover. That was kind of disgusting too. I actually found a little baby stink bug in there, which kind of made me feel bad, but I just soaked that in a bowl with some more of the Mrs. Meyers degreasing dish soap and it came out looking brand new again. And then also I ended up just changing the light bulb that was up there. It had been up there for a while, it still worked, but it was kind of dirty too. So I just went ahead and decided to change it.
that is it for this episode. Everything came out looking so great and I love it. I hope you guys got some motivation out of this to clean your oven. And don't forget to come back next Sunday for the third episode. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks so much for coming by.